There are some serious benefits of living in the city of San Diego as opposed to just living in San Diego County. What are those benefits? That's what we're talking about right now. My name is Dan Parker. I am the San Diego real estate guy and I help people from all over the US buy and sell homes all over San Diego. So I am the perfect person to tell you all the benefits, the main massive benefits that you get living in the city of San Diego. Now, if you find this video helpful, I think you'd probably enjoy the rest of my videos too. There's a little subscribe button down in the corner. Hit that and you'll be notified every time one of my new videos pops up. Now, let's just start off by explaining what the difference is. You have the city of San Diego and then you have San Diego County. And San Diego County is a population of about 3.3 million people. It stretches from um, the northernmost part borders Orange County, the southernmost part borders Mexico. So everything in between, that's San Diego. And then you have the city of San Diego, which is this little area here in the middle where you have the downtown San Diego, it's right along the water, and then it kind of stretches north, east, uh, a little bit south, and you have a population of about 1.4 million people. So that's what we're talking about, the benefit of living here and not just out in this area. Now, the first benefit is also gonna be the least sexy on this list. If you live in the city of San Diego, you get free trash pickup and you don't get that in the other cities surrounding San Diego. You get free trash pickup in all of the city of San Diego. They've been doing this for over a hundred years and it doesn't sound like a big deal because it's just trash. But if you didn't know, it is expensive to live in San Diego. It's expensive to live in California. And this is one fewer thing that you have to worry about paying for when you live here. So it brings down your cost of living just, just a little bit. It's also interesting because in the neighborhood that I live in, I'm in the city of San Diego, but my extended neighborhood also includes, it's, it's kind of split down the middle. Half of it's the city of San Diego, half of it is not the city of San Diego. So my neighbors two blocks over, they have to pay for trash, for the green waste, for the recycling, all of it. And next up is you have an opportunity with a single family residence to own chickens, goats, and beehives. That's right. They, we, San Diego changed their municipal code in 2012 to allow single family residents, which means no townhomes, no condos, no attached properties. If you have a detached property with a yard, you're allowed chickens, you're allowed goats, and you're allowed beehives. I mean, that's just, that's just freaking cool. So the goats and the beehives, I'm not gonna get into too much because most people don't take advantage of that. But a lot of people have chickens and I'm seeing more and more, including this guy. I got chickens, uh, we got chickens at our house about four months ago. We have seven chickens in our backyard that are about to start laying eggs every single day. I mean, that's awesome. And there are some basic requirements as far as this municipal code is concerned. There are certain things that you need to know and I'm gonna link everything down in the bottom. But the main thing is for most properties, you're allowed to have you're allowed to have five chickens. And there are some basic requirements of how big your yard needs to be, how far away from your property line the chicken coop needs to be. But a majority of people that have these types of properties are allowed to have chickens. Also keep in mind, just because the city of San Diego allows properties to have chickens, it doesn't mean as a renter, your, your landlord is gonna allow you to have chickens. And it doesn't mean that HOAs can't prohibit you owning chickens as well. But again, most people living in the city of San Diego under these circumstances, you're allowed to have your own chickens. The next benefit on this list is ADU development opportunities. ADU stands for accessory dwelling unit. And basically, let's just think of it as a granny flat. It means that your home can turn into a multi-unit property. When you sell your property, you can sell it as a multi-unit property. When you, you can rent out that second, that granny flat as a second property. And the reason that this is on the list is because housing in San Diego, there's such a housing shortage that has been for many years now that the city of San Diego decided to loosen regulations on building ADUs. They minimize zoning regulations. They cut a bunch of the costs associated with filing for ADUs. They, they've uploaded, they have free architectural plans for you to build your own ADU. And there, there are a whole bunch of reasons why they're trying to make it easy for people to have an accessory dwelling unit. But this is just one of the other benefits of living in the city of San Diego. If you own property, which yeah, it's expensive, but you can have the opportunity to build a granny flat on your property, which will increase the value of your home by a lot. Or you can rent that out and make money every single month while still living in the main property. How can you beat that? 
you can have you can have that and you have your chickens and goats at the same time and next up for the city of san diego you have the get it done app now this is an app and again i'll, I'll link it down below this is an app that you can use to report all sorts of different things to your local government so let's say there is a pothole there's graffiti there is um you know there's some trees that are overgrown or falling over on a public park you can actually go onto the app you can upload a photo you can put that request in for it to get fixed removed whatever and then the government the local government will go handle those issues and then upload a, a photo of when it's complete and that way you don't have to jump through a bunch of hoops to be able to report one of these things i mean it doesn't get any easier than having an app and being able to click just a, a couple buttons to be able to report these things. You can also schedule an appointment to get your passport. You can uh, report parking violations. You can report homeless encampments. Um, you can look at the trash schedule, schedule or you can request trash pickup. It just, it combines all these different services so that you can, you can get it done. You can get these things done. And another big benefit since in San Diego, a lot of the homes are on the smaller side condensed the, the houses are a little close together because land is expensive but the benefit of the city of san diego is there are a ton of parks public parks that everyone has access to um, dog parks skate parks hiking trails miles and miles of white sandy beaches all of these things you have access to so if you are an outdoor enthusiast you are going to love living in San Diego. There are over 400 parks in the city of San Diego, including Balboa Park and Mission Bay and Park, which I'll show, I'll throw a map up somewhere. You can actually see how much space these places take up. I mean, Balboa Park is surrounded by probably five, six different neighborhood communities. It's massive. And within the city of San Diego, you have over 400 individual parks, over 40,000 acres of parkland and over 57 recreation centers. And did I mention the beaches? I mean, come on. This, you can basically anywhere you're living in the city of San Diego, it's not gonna be more than a 15, max 20 minute drive to be right on the beach. If there's anything that I missed that you know of, any top secret things that you know of about living in the city of San Diego, please drop it in the comment section below because I wanna know and I wanna make sure that my clients and the people that I work with know as well. And if you want to know more, again, I am, I'm actually a full-time real estate agent and a part-time videographer, creator, hobbyist. Let's, let's call it that. I put out these videos because I want you to know more about moving to living in San Diego and, and I hope they're helpful. But if you want to know more, if you want a custom plan, if you want to move to San Diego, all my contact information is down below. Shoot me a call, text, email, uh, video message. It doesn't matter. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit the like button so other people know you liked it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.